Hi friends, uh, today I am going to show you a tutorial where uh, we are going to use hag rotation patch and we are going to make an object move from uh, one side to another side maybe you can say 180 degree rotation and these type of uh, animations which we have already seen on, on various websites so this we are going to uh, make it work today by using a hag rotation patch so let's uh, quickly start. I have already uh, made a setup and I'll take you uh, through the whole uh, patch uh, editor, how I created it. So uh, let's start. So as you can see, I've already uh, created it. So the first thing which uh, I started with is add a face tracker. I'm sure you can see my mouse here. Uh, add a face tracker. You can use the focal distance, add and add a face tracker. So you can use this option. I have already added my face tracker, which you can see here. Now, apart from face tracker, we have to add uh, a plane. So you can do something like this and go to add a plane. I have already added this plane. So once you uh, add a plane, I can show you something like this. So this is actually a plane. So this is the plane. So when you add a plane for the first time, you see a square jackpot. So that that is very common. And once you have added a Facebook, uh, a face tracker, and a plane, so you have to click on Add a Set and add an animation sequence. Okay. So once you add animation sequence, you can receive uh, the thing here, animation sequence. And once you have added your animation sequence here you will find that there is a section with the texture. So uh, here we're going to play with uh, various frames for that object. So uh, if you want to create a 360 degree or, or a 180 degree animation, you need multiple frames of that animation. So for that, uh, we're going to need series of images. So uh, go to this check texture, select a new texture so I have already selected uh, one of my texture so when you click on this new image texture it will open a, you know file upload section and then you have to select all the frames like this so I have uh, 10 frames here you can see I'll just show you you can see the 10 frames available here you can take more than 10 also as per your wish so once you import those uh, frames you will see a separate section textures here and it will show the number of frames you own in this animation so yeah so texture part is done so now uh, we have created animation sequence we have created texture the next thing which we have to place here is the plane give it a material okay so material will be visible here and once you create a material just select this texture and select the animation sequence so you can see my car is, is already here you can use any of the object and once you select the animation sequence okay that plane will be replaced by that image you can uh, use these uh, pointers to you know scale them or make them uh, move x or y axis so uh, that is one part of the tutorial where we have arranged all the objects uh, in a proper way. We did uh, we did uh, face tracker, we did plane, we did animation sequence, we added texture, and we finally add the material. So now it's a time for us to uh, now really code and jump into the patch editor. So now uh, just go to the view and show and hide your patch editor. My patch editor is already visible here. So I'll definitely uh, enlarge it so that you guys can look into this. I'm just increasing the visible area. Um, I hope this will be visible enough for you guys. So the first thing, uh, it is connected with the face tracker. So we're going to just click on face tracker, go to patch and create. Okay, so you can see so many things. Just go to this producer patch. And once you select this producer patch, you will see a face finder automatically added, a face select and a face tracker. 
already available here okay so this is like face uh, the producer patch which, which you will see once you have uh, created a uh, patch for this producer patch you have to just click on head rotation so that you get a head rotation patch also here so now you can see a, a, a head rotation patch available here and the things which you can utilize is turn left, turn right, uh, right, lean left, lean right and lean forward and lean back. So lean left and right I have already created a, a tutorial which you can check. Uh, in this I am going to use uh, only turn left and right so you can see when I rotate my head the animation starts and it plays move from the car moves from one direction to another so I'm going to utilize this turn left and turn right okay so uh, after adding this face tracker or the face producer patch plus head rotation patch you have to move and add as we are playing with frames as we said frames so definitely uh, the next thing which you have to catch is a frame frame transition frame transition just go and check out this option frame transition okay just add it and for running this frame animations you will also require a uh, animation okay so this animation you can catch so just add the patch so you will see uh, two new patches here animation and the frame transition okay so now you will see frame transition always take number of frames and we remember we have added 10 frames so that basically number starts from 0 to 9 so you will see the first frame is 0 and the last frame is 9 okay and what we're gonna do the turn left I'll just move it a bit here so that you guys can look into this so what I'm doing when I'm uh, turning left okay there's a pulse which automatically added uh, I want on my left uh, I think I just to make the pick more clear so when I turn towards my right okay like this so I want the animation to play how it should play the frames from 0 to 9 okay it will play the frames from 0 to 9 it will execute like this cool and when I turn my neck opposite direction it will reverse the animation so this is what I'm trying to do when I'm trying to turn left I'm reversing the animation which I have already played and it, it sets a reverse number of the frames and these these numbers the frame numbers I am inserting into um, what is it yeah so uh, these are inserted into the animation sequence which has a current frame so all these uh, frame number change is going inside this animation sequence okay if you want to see the current frame right now I'll move it a bit down so right now you can see the current frame 8 if I'll change 6 you can see the frame number changes okay through this this animation is happening and the frame number changes so we are making frames to execute when we lean left we, we rotate head right so this is one of the way of utilizing uh, the patch the head rotation patch and uh, I, I find it useful I can create so many multiple things with it I'm sure uh, with this tutorial it will help you to understand head rotation patch more and you will be able to create something new and I'll be happy if you can suggest me you know what next you want to see on this tutorial videos and uh, I'll try to work on that tutorial and create one of, um, based on your request so uh, in the comment section do leave the uh, suggestions which you have for these videos and I'll definitely look into this and if you want to download a file for this I'll share uh, the link in description for downloading the file 
and thank you for watching it if you uh, feel it, it was somewhat your knowledge enhancing uh, feel free to put a like and uh, if you can subscribe this channel it will be definitely great and thank you for watching